Hello, today I'm going to show off the four different configurations of my ultralight cook kit using two different kinds of fuel. I've showed this off before in another video. This is just a follow up to show you a little bit about how it works. Tyvek bag, we'll open this thing up. A piece of shock cord. It's in a Reflectix pot cozy. Uh, there, titanium lid goes with the pot. This is my uh, drinking cup. I'll show you what's in there in a second. Got a Lexan camping spoon. Cut it off. Mortised a little block of cherry wood. Now I have a long spoon, but I can take it apart and short fits in my cook kit. Bic lighter. This is the wire handle for the pot. Two little wire stands for the uh, in a wood mode or stick mode. Here is my uh, windscreen, it's aluminum. This is the 900 milliliter Tyhox pot, titanium, perfect size for one person. And an aluminum ground sheet to be used when I'm using in alcohol mode. One last thing is my homemade stick stove, uh, stainless steel, I'll show that off more in just a little bit. Inside this drinking cup, uh, this first of all is uh, made from a 25 ounce beer can. Got some graduation marks on it. So these are two ounce increments. I have a uh, plastic lid from a cheese dip container, which happens to fit this rim. This ring on the top is actually from a cat food can. You can also use one off of the cheese dip can. You cut it off and heat shrink it on there. Got my fancy bud alcohol stove. Made it myself. And a bandana inside for grabbing hot stuff. A spare alcohol stove. This is just a cat stove. Just use it more for windy conditions and as a spare. Oh, and inside my alcohol stove is a measuring cup. The first and most common configuration is my fancy bud alcohol stove. Denatured alcohol. I keep it in this heat jug. I really like it. Works pretty good. I'm going to boil about two cups of water. And I can do that with about that much alcohol, 20 milliliters or 5 eighths of an ounce, something like that. I pour most of it in the stove, put a little bit of it here around the wick, and light it. And in no time at all, we're going to have some heat. There's that hiss. Time to put on the, the pot. And that's pretty much it. There are some things to consider about using alcohol stoves. The nice thing is the noise. There is none in a place like the Boundary Waters and there's just absolute quiet. This fits right in. One of the disadvantages is you can't see the flame. You don't know what's going on. Here's the first configuration with the windscreen on. This is just a little aluminum windscreen I've made. It does a nice job of surrounding the pot. There's enough gap between the pot and the windscreen to not allow air in, but there is enough gap that it doesn't overheat the small, thin aluminum windscreen. My second configuration is almost the same as the first. Are you still using my fancy bud alcohol stove? But this time I'm boiling water or heating water directly in my 25 ounce beer can cup. It fits perfectly on top of my fancy bud alcohol stove. One word of caution, these uh, beer cans or pop cans or any kind of aluminum can has a plastic type liner on the inside. But if you do get it too hot, it will yellow, it will discolor and there is some concern that it can leach uh, chemicals into your water. Be careful, don't get it too hot. This is the third configuration for my ultralight cook kit. Uh, this one I'm going to use my stick stove, which is made from an IKEA utensil strainer. It's been cut off. I cut the shape out in it so I can feed sticks and still get airflow. I also cut out these triangular shape holes so that I can get more airflow. It's been shortened a lot from the original configuration. We got it down to like two and a half ounces roughly with these little wires. The, oh, the little wires are right there. Those are the supports for the pot. Anyway, I use this uh, stick stove as the base, essentially, 
and I can use my cat stove right in there with alcohol and set my pot right on top like that. Sometimes I've been uh, known to carry a couple different types of alcohol stoves, but this one, these are really like, these are made from small eight ounce like pop cans or juice cans. They are double walled. I got two different styles here. I got this one right here, which has a different configuration of holes than this one. I've experimented a lot with these. I have them labeled. I've got a high power and a low power, which means more or less heat. I set the high power stove in here like this, and I can uh, cook on it. Works really great. I'm going to give it a little boil. I'm going to put in 20 milliliters of alcohol. It's enough to boil a cup and a half or so of water, maybe two, depending on the conditions. Uh, put it in that stove. This is really nice because it uh, burns right away. It's really easy to burn. I mean, it's just as easy as the fancy bud stove. Maybe a little better in cold weather. Now, to, to light the thing, you need to try to get the lighter down in the hole, which usually works like that. Or my patented method is to put a stick in there, get it wet with alcohol, light the stick, and then light the fire. But anyway, it's already burning. And that's an eagle. There, it's already going. We can set the stove or the pot on top of the stove. And look at that. We are making water. For this last configuration, we're going to switch fuels. We're going to switch from alcohol to sticks. And first thing you do is look around for some sticks. Here's some nice ones. Something dry like this, barkless, dry, laying on the ground. In this case, it's on the ground, so it's above the leaves, fairly dry. You can also tell it's a really good stick for this because it cracks and snaps right in half. These will work really well. Time to do our very last configuration. Stick stove with wood. What I do is I have uh, my firewood that I went and found call it firewood. Little tiny dry sticks, dry as you can get, barkless preferably. If it snaps really good, it should be good to burn. Uh, if you can take it, snap like that, wonderful. And I recommend breaking it up into the smallest pieces you can. It actually works out really well. I'm going to start out with, I'm going to put a few big ones in there. Just a couple. About like that. And a few medium sized pieces. Like so. And finally, my last smaller pieces. So I've got a little nest there, kind of. My preferred tinder is birch bark. I'll put a little bit of that birch bark down in there. I'll put a bunch, get it on the first take and top it off with a few more small sticks. Final step then is to light it. Now that you've got a fairly nice bed of coals in there, a little bit of smoke, not too bad. You set your pot on there, and it'll start heating up. As the fire burns down, you can continue to take little sticks, stick them in the hole.